video lesson students this is statistics preparation of a frequency distribution table and a histogram which comes in statistics so what are the objectives and specifications by working out this chapter you can have the students will actively participate with the help of this previous knowledge understanding students will understand the terms in statistics that is frequency distribution frequency class limits class interval application the students will apply the knowledge in daily life skill the students will show the skill in drawing tabulations understanding statistics what is statistics the word statistics derived from the latin word status italian word stata greek word statistic meaning which is political state so the branch of mathematics which deals with the collection and classification and interpretation of the data is called statistics so the data the raw data we collect the raw data preparing that in a tabulation form and expressing the uh, values in it in a histogram all this about statistics so the statistics the well known scientist ronald fisher he developed uh, this chapter that is he developed uh, the theories on statistics around 1892 1962 the terms to remember before moving on to the concept let us remember remember some of the terms the first one is frequency distribution so what is meant by the frequency distribution if the data is classified a convenient way and presented in a table it is called a frequency distribution the raw, raw, raw data we collect uh, that is prepared in terms of a tabulation it is a frequency distribution so the frequency when the data is prepared in a frequency table and number of items that fall in a particular class is called frequency of the class and class limits the starting and end values of each class are called the lower limit and upper limit of that class so class boundaries the average upper limit of a class and lower limit of the succeeding class is called the upper boundary of the class the upper boundary of the class becomes the lower boundary of the next class class interval the difference between the upper and lower boundaries of the class is called the class interval or you can say the size of a class the range the difference between the highest and low, lowest terms of the data is called the range now we'll prepare the frequency distribution table so for this before preparing that let us see some of the words we have discussed in the previous slide i'll show you the meaning of that word the lowest term zero is called the lowest term and 69 is called the highest item so the range will be maximum minus minimum that is 69 minus 0 so the range is 69 here 30 is lower limit whereas 39 is upper limit so in this class interval 10 to 19 the frequency is 
So we call the frequency of the class 10 to 19 is 5. So the upper boundary, the upper boundary is the average between, see here, 39 and 40. When you take the average between these two items, 39 plus 40 by 2, that will be the upper boundary. Now we prepare the frequency distribution table for the marks the students have secured in the final examination. About 30 students in class 9. So the marks they have awarded like this. So these are the marks. Out of 100, they have awarded marks like this. So now we'll prepare a frequency distribution table for these items. So first we'll categorize. We'll take the class limit from 0 to 9. So in the class limit of 0 to 9, the marks of the students are 5. 5 students have secured marks between 0 to 9. That is 2, 0, 4, 6, and 7 are the marks secured by the students between 0 to 9. So total number of students are 5. Now 10 to 19. There are five students again, 12, 13, 15, 16, 17. We have to categorize like this. So five students. Now between 20 to 29, how many students? One, two, three, four, five, six. Should get six, yes. Next, 30 to 39. There are only two students have secured marks between 30 to 39. Now, 40 to 49, four students have secured. Now, 50 to 59, how many students have secured? We have to categorize like this. So how many students have secured between 50 to 59? This is also four students. Now, 60 to 69. How many students? Four students. So you have to categorize the marks according to class limits like this. Now we'll prepare frequency distribution table. We do the range of this frequency is maximum minus minimum. That is 69 minus zero. That is equal to 69. So the size of the interval I have taken as 10. So the number of classes you will get 69 by 10 that is 6.9 that is equal to seven classes so we have to prepare a table like this we'll get seven classes see here let us count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine twenty ten twenty eleven twenty twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine twenty ten twenty eleven twenty twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen between 0 to 9, 5 students have secured. So we have to mark the tally marks like this. See here, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5th one, we have to strike it out like this. So this will become a bunch, bunch of flowers. So this bunch, we can understand this one as 5. So frequency here is 5. Now, between 10 to 19, five students have secured. Once again, we got a bunch. Between 20 to 29, there are six students. So this is one bunch, five, and one more. So six. 30 to 39, two students have secured. 40 to 49, four students. 50 to 59, four students, 60 to 69, again, four students. So this is the frequency table we have to prepare like this. And the total, more, total uh, uh, the uh, number of students will be 30 here. This should match to the number of students in the class. Frequency distribution table. 
is completed. Now we'll look after the merits of this frequency distribution table by simplifying and presenting the data of the frequency distribution statistical analysis become very easy. You can categorize, when you categorize the marks of the students, you can analyze who got the less marks and who got the highest marks and what is the average marks of the students. And frequency distribution demerits also we'll see. Observing the data given in the form of numbers, we cannot identify it the selling features of the data. So by seeing the tabulation, we cannot analyze which person has got how many marks. The graph merits. People who have some knowledge of statistics, it becomes very easy to draw interferences when the data presented in the form of a graph. So graphing is an easy, easy method by which by looking at the graph itself, you can analyze the data in it. Graphs are very useful in observation of changes in the frequencies. Let us work out the histogram. What is meant by the histogram? Penetrating to a frequency distribution if the true limits are taken on x-axis and corresponding frequencies on y-axis, the adjacent rectangles drawn, the diagram is called a histogram. Let us move on. So we have already prepared the frequency distribution table. For, uh, for that table, we'll prepare a histogram. So for this histogram, we have to take, this is y-axis, this is x-axis, and we have to take a scale like this. So on y-axis, I have taken frequencies. On x-axis, I have taken class intervals. So I have selected the class intervals in the frequency distribution table, like 0 to 9, 10 to 19, 20 to 29, and so on. So in the class interval 0 to 19, we have got five students have secured. So here, see carefully, in zero to nine class interval, there are, the frequency is five. So we have to show, uh, uh, this is a rectangle like this, in this shape. Next one, in 10 to 19, so five students have secured, like this we have to show. In 20 to 29, so six students, so the rectangle height should reach the frequency of six like this, up to this level. Next one, 30 to 39, two students have secured. 40 to 49, four students have secured. 50 to 59, four students have secured. And 60 to 69, four students have secured. So like this, I have taken different colors to analyze it also. See here, the same thing I have mentioned in this table also. So zero to nine, it is in green color. 10 to 19, it is in blue color. So the same thing I have shown here. So this is the preparation of histogram for the frequency distribution table. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. This is about the preparation of a frequency distribution table and preparation of any histogram in ninth mathematics.